Looks like AT and T is up in some new testing. I don't know. This is this is uh, very forward looking, but I know a lot of people think that AT and T just rests on their laurels, but they're pretty busy. Uh, they're they've got their hands in a lot of different stuff. So looks like they have asked the FCC for two experimental licenses for six G, six freaking G. All right, this article, Sumeric Fierce Wireless. Okay, what is this about here? All right, so this is going to be two two-year exper- experimental licenses uh, that are going to be tested in Austin, Texas, looking to get demonstration of functionality and capabilities for 5G advanced and 6G wireless systems. This is just craziness. All right, what AT&T wants to do is test these different spectrum types to test communications between mobile units and fixed base stations in both the indoor and outdoor settings. All right, testing will establish wireless links between the base stations and the mobile user equipment at distances up to five kilometers. All right, so what are these frequencies here? It says sub terahertz. I don't think you guys <laughs> understand how high these frequencies are, the terahertz. All right, we're talking about 95 gigahertz and three terahertz range. Wow, okay. Uh, <laughs> all right, what else we got? So besides the 92 gigahertz to 100 gigahertz stuff, they're going to be testing... 10.7 gigahertz and 15.35 gigahertz. All right, now here here's my take on this. The 92 to 100 gigahertz, there that's probably just going to be really high bandwidth intensive purposes. Uh, it, it's probably going to be enterprise related. I I just I can't see that being commercial networking grade for like mobile users. The 10.7 to 15.35 gigahertz, that's, that probably has some mobility potential there, as well as enterprise use case. Uh, that could be like for business, enterprise, you know, like there's a bunch of different 5G use cases that are potentially going to probably use that frequency range. So that makes a little bit more sense than the traditional thought process. But this one here is interesting. 5.9 gigahertz to 8.4 gigahertz. That's probably up the mobility alley so the, the 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 lower two sets of frequencies i could see fixed wireless access potential i could see obviously like the traditional 5g use case that we've been seeing like augmented reality the the vr the ar the autonomous robotics uh you know sensors all of that iot stuff and and that makes a lot of sense so they're going to be doing the testing in austin those are the frequencies they're going to be testing and, uh, you know, there's a lot of headroom that has to has to be made in 6G. I mean, they're talking about the foundations of it now. Right. So the you know, the the 3G PP releases that we're going to be seeing, like now we're on what um, rel 18 and 19. Right. So once we get through like rel 22 and 23, <laughs> I think that puts us into 6G, really. So we're a few years away from this, but they're testing it. So for those of you that think like AT&T doesn't do stuff. Totally not true. They are definitely going to be looking into this. Uh, I don't know what Verizon and T-Mobile are doing with these types of licenses right now. I'm sure there have been some things they've been testing in the lab, but this is pretty cool. And be on the lookout for them looking to purchase these licenses at a later time when they do auction them and they become available if it's something that shows promise for them. Again, these different frequencies have different use cases and different potential. What do you guys think? Tell me what you think they're going to want to do with these, which ones you think that they'll like, and the outcome will be beneficial to them. Kind of predictive here. You all the voice of the people of the SMT SMT Nation, let your voice be heard. Please do like, share, and subscribe for more, and turn on the bell notifications to never miss an upload. Links in the description for my Twitter and email and my Patreon page. Support us there and get early access to content and exclusive videos not found anywhere else. Thank you for watching. Thank you for supporting. See you all in the next one. Peace.